Good evening. Welcome to Epiphany Lutheran Church in Richmond, Virginia. I am Kevin Barger, the Director of Music Ministry here, and this is our Music Minute, a chance to look at our hymns that we'll be using in worship tomorrow and maybe learn a little bit more about them. We will start tomorrow, uh, the fifth Sunday of Lent, with Christ the Life of All the Living. That'll be our gathering hymn. And this is a hymn that was written about Christ's suffering on our behalf and how that warrants us to be giving thousand thousand thanks are due uh, the text that you'll find as you read through it tomorrow uh, this is another of those hymns translated by Catherine Winkworth and we've talked about her before she was quite the translator uh, it does have updated language since she made that translation the tune was not originally written for this text however it was so popular that it changed its name the tune name changed based on the text from this hymn so it then took on a new name after it was used with this text. This is Christ the Life of All the Living. It's almost a fun dance. Oh, it's a lot like a trio for those that might be tracking what styles of music we're doing. The next hymn, our hymn of the day, is from All Creation Sing, and that is Holy Woman, Graceful Giver. And this is actually, this, uh, it's a, authored by Susan Paolo Cherwin, who just died back in December. And this was from a 2016 collection of hymns that she had written called Peace Be Still. And it extends the usefulness of a hymn about Jesus being anointed for burial to another gospel account of the same story. So what's unique about this that we'll find in the hymnal tomorrow is there's an account in Mark and an account in John uh, where we hear this story. We'll be singing the account from John tomorrow, which is slightly different than the Mark one. And um, the Mark version, however, was actually written for the 25th anniversary of the ordination of women in the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. And um, Anne Krenz Organ, a good friend of mine, wrote the tune for this. And it's a fun, easy to sing tune. And it has uh, several different versions within the hymnal. So that's kind of nice that we get to use it in multiple places. So this will be Holy Woman, Graceful Giver.
So a wonderful, wonderful new hymn. And last but not least for our sending hymn, we'll go back to something that is pretty well known to offset the one that is new for us, and that is Beneath the Cross of Jesus, one I think that most of us are familiar with. And this is obviously a meditation on the cross. And it was written um, actually the year before its author died, but then it took a total of four years after her death before it was actually published. So it was a long time in waiting. And it was actually not published in a hymnal first. It was in a Scottish religious magazine is where it first appeared. So the tune for this one was actually written for this, like the last one that we did, and unlike the first one. And uh, that St. Christopher is the hymn tune name. And we're going to hear a pastoral version of it this evening, um, which is sort of a misnomer because parts of this are not very uh, peaceful or serene as what we think of with pastorals typically. So this is Beneath the Cross of Jesus. And hopefully that gave you some time to reflect upon the cross and maybe even look at the words a little bit while you were listening. So thank you for joining me this evening to take a look at our hymns for tomorrow. And if you are joining us in person tomorrow, um, those service times are 8.30 and 11 o'clock. And the 11 o'clock service will be live streamed on our YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining and we'll talk again next week.